I can see it now. Drake's like at a, a big table. He got like a whole bunch of people with him. Like they form like he called the Legion of Doom. And they're trying to they're trying to find all of the pieces to the weather dominator so they could steal the Statue of Liberty and put it on the moon. These dudes is plotting. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up party people? Hey yo, check this out. Before I even get into this video, one thing I want to do, I want to give a shout out to all of the individuals that come into the comment section and swear I'm a Drake stan. And I want to give a shout out to all of the individuals that come into the comment section and swear I'm a pusher stan. The reason why is, if I can make one video and... Two different types of people can watch that same damn video and come away thinking and I'm either a fan of one or a fan of the other. That means I'm doing my job well. You understand? I'm doing it well. You're just coming away, finding what you was looking for. Anyway, so there's some billboards out. Yeah. There's some Drake billboards out. They got one that says, God has a plan. They have another one. Actually, the most interesting one to me might be the one with the bird swooping down on the scorpion. And I'm going to explain why, but I, I probably want to get to that one last. But that's probably the most interesting one for me. There's another one that says side A. I mean, A side, B side. Some people are assuming that that means that it's going to be like a double album, which makes sense. Don't get it confused. I think it might have a different meaning to that. But yeah, that would make sense if it was a double album and these people were correct that saying it's, it was a double album. I'd say, you know what? That you, you kind of nail one head. I think it's I think that that's it's that's a possibility what it is. It's a double album. But people don't really release those anymore. I did a video a while back actually speaking i think like two or three um drake pusher videos ago i even spoke about the fact that the last time people really came out with double albums like it was really a thing was like in the 90s so you know they they don't release uh music that way anymore although now because they're streaming services and it's not like before where you just bought a cd back in the 90s you bought a cd it was different you understand what i'm saying now the music that you could release you could get paid for individual purchases of individual songs so it would make sense if you so choose you know to have a double album so i'm not knocking that i'm not saying it's not a double album i just want that to be clear you hear another blogger talking about a double album. Don't be like, oh, Jack Force throwing shots. Nah, no shots, all right? So um, they do have a billboard that says side A. I mean, A side, B side. And, but when I look at that billboard, I don't see double album. I see boxing. And boxing, when you're going to do a, um, you know, uh, put a card together, you're going to, you know, put a match together, whatever the case is, you know, let's, let's use Floyd Mayweather. Everybody knows who Floyd Mayweather is. If you don't know who Floyd Mayweather is, walk around your house without shoes and socks and stub your toe on some furniture. How about that? Good for you. So Floyd Mayweather is usually the A side. Why? Because he's the most popular out of the two fighters that would be fighting. I mean, name a boxer right now in uh, the 147 weight division or even the 152 weight division. Or even if you want to go, um, 152, 155 weight division. That's like Canelo's weight division. The only person that's really in 155 is like, anyway. Oh, Canelo's 154. That's where he always want to fight. But that's not the point. The point is, you have Floyd Mayweather and you have... You know, boxer X. Okay, so Floyd Mayweather's the A side. That means that Floyd Mayweather is drawing all of the fans. You understand what I'm saying? They're not coming to really see uh fighter X. You know, <laughs> they're not really coming to see that guy. They're coming to see Floyd Mayweather. So therefore, Floyd Mayweather, not only because he's the popular fighter, he's the head of the bill. You understand what I'm saying? He's the A side. He, his, him, and his team make the decisions about how where the fight's gonna be, who's gonna get what, 
as far as fi- um um monies is concerned, you know, his team makes the decisions. There's a, a fight that's supposed to be going on, right? That they've been trying to get done. Anthony Josh is a heavyweight fight. Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. I, I follow boxing, y'all. So if y'all want me to follow boxing, just let me know. Anthony Wilder. I mean, um, Anthony Johnson, Anthony Joshua, and Deontay Wilder. So they want to fight, supposedly. But Deontay Wilder really wants to fight. So Anthony Joshua and his team was complaining about a whole bunch of different things, yada, 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 this and this and that. So Deontay Wilder's team comes and says, you know what? We'll give you $50 million to have a fight in America. That's more money than Anthony Joshua has ever made on any fight ever in his career. It might be, or the $50 million might be the most money he's he might not have ever made that much money personally. You understand what I'm saying? So they're trying to get the fight done. Anyway, Anthony Joshua ends up turning down the fight. A lot of people think Anthony Johnson turned down the Anthony Joshua turned down the fight because he's like, oh man, I'm scared of Deontay Wilder. Well, yeah, maybe. But one of the biggest reasons why I believe he turned down the fight was is because by him taking that fight, he wouldn't be the A side. So anyway, he has a billboard up called A side, B side, and I I believe that's a. <laughs> I believe because you know, the lights get niggas. I believe he's trying to throw shots. He's subbing them. You know what I'm basically saying? I'm basically saying he's proclaiming himself the king of hip hop. You know, he's really pop. He's a pop artist, but. The average fan can't tell the difference. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you, you walk in the store and you're a lawyer, but you're black. And you walk in the store and they follow you around anyway in the Asian, in the, in the Asian dollar store. <laughs> they can't tell. They don't have the slightest idea. To them, you're a gang beggar. You understand what I'm saying? So the average fan, like I'm trying to say, and the average fan would be the Asian shop owner, wouldn't know the difference between a pop a, a rapper who who does pop music and a hip hop you know artist unless you know it was like underground you know what i'm saying like it was like one of them dudes that never washed their beard got dirty braids yeah then they'd be like oh man yeah that's 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 that has to be you know that's the only way that they would know if you was just a regular clean clut you know d- underground rapper they wouldn't be able to tell the difference between you and drake y'all all rappers you understand what i'm saying anyway that's the point so that's what I believe that particular billboard is about, in my opinion. I basically, he's, I think he's basically just saying, yo, look, I'm the A side and you guys are the B side. I call the shots. Y'all don't, y'all don't do none of that. And then if you also think about how um, Jay Prince stepped up and basically shut down you know, or the way that he describes it. Remember this. We, we're we hearing this from everything that Jay Prince said. We're hearing it from his perspective. Don't forget about that. You know, I get that man enough respect. I'm not trying to disrespect him. But don't forget, when he talks, you hear it from his perspective. You hear it from the narrative in which he wants to deliver that he wants everybody else to follow. That's not necessarily the way that it happens. happened, although it might be the way that it happened. Don't get it confused. So... That's what I think that that A side B side thing is about. Just just so we could be clear, you know. Um, then if if so, if you take into consideration that Jay Prince basically says, quote unquote, that he stepped up and shut everything down, told Drake to stop rapping against these niggas, told them niggas to go over there and you know go over there and play by yourself in the sandbox. That's basically what he's basically saying he did. So if you take that into consideration, then yeah, Drake is the A side. He's the one telling people what they can and can't do. You understand? All right, so move on to the next billboard. That was long. I'm going to have to speed this up. So he has another one that said, God has a plan. That might be him indirectly, you know, how rappers like using double entendres. So he's saying God has a plan that we could all be like, yeah, God has a plan. Because God has a plan. Don't get it confused. But he might also be referring to himself. Because remember when he spoke about the Scorpion album, um, DJ Academic, shout out to DJ Academics, said that he was he spoke to uh, Drake, and Drake said that when the Scorpion album comes out, everybody will understand. 
So when he says God has a plan, I believe he's not just saying that God, the most high upstairs, uh, the most high has a plan. I believe he's also indirect, well, probably directly trying to say that he himself has a plan. You understand what I'm saying? That's that was that one was pretty simple. That that one I got. It was pretty simple. Um He's witty. All right. This is this is the thing. Drake is witty, right? But you gotta also understand a lot of the things that Drake say, especially in his raps. It comes from a committee. So if you got eight, nine people who are all smart, they're going to come up with witty shit. It's just, that's just what it is. That's why I do not give Drake props for his actual verbiage. But I do for his delivery, you know, to a degree. Because you have to give like 40% of his delivery to Drake and performance and then 60% to whoever the artist is that he stole it from in the first place and started doing it before they got famous and everybody saw them because we know what Drake do. But that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. So he has another board that says, don't hit me when you hear this. I don't think he's saying physically hit him. I'm just saying he's like, yo, don't at me. But he's trying to, you know, that's it. I think that one was pretty simple. I think he's like, yo, don't at me. You understand what I'm saying? Like, after you hear this, y'all wasn't rocking with me now. That fucking damn Pusha T came out with that shit, flamed me all over the place. Y'all wasn't rocking with me then. Don't rock with me now. You understand what I'm saying? Remember the line he had? You wasn't shooting with me in the gym. You understand what I'm saying? So that that's what I think, you know, there's a bitterness. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with that sometimes when you feel like some, some, you, you've been abandoned. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes people feel bitterness. It is what it is. So I think he's like, yo, don't hit me when you hear this. Like, yo, when y'all hear this, when y'all hear what I got for these niggas, don't be trying to come knock on my door talking about could I come out and play. Remember remember last week? Remember last week when we all went to the park and y'all niggas ain't even picked me? And it was my ball, nigga. It was my ball. Why didn't I get to play? Like, this is what Drake is on. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion, man. He got another one that says Elevate. And another one that said, I just flipped the switch. And, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know. Those those might have been misses, but they was like, hey, but we need, we need extra billboards. Let's put some other stuff up there that don't mean much to really throw everybody off you know you can't trust these rat bastards and not drake in particular who you probably can't trust either but i'm just talking about you know marketing people <laughs> oh man oh man look at a lot of y'all sometimes i say shit anyway so um let me get to the uh the one where okay there's there's two different ways that you could look at this all right the first one is if that's a hawk, which I don't think it's a hawk, but if it's a hawk, a hawk is an apex predator. A hawk does not have anything that kills it, <laughs> except for humans, maybe other hawks. Okay, and I'm uh, I'm I'm part of me eagle, part of me an eagle, not a hawk. An eagle is an apex apex predator. It is in it in its environment. The most dangerous thing, period. So that could be an eagle swooping down on a scorpion, but that wouldn't make any sense because the name of the album is Scorpion. So the only way that that would make sense if in this situation, Drake is considering himself the underdog and the enemy is swooping down on him, and he's prepared to attack or defend himself. But I don't think that that's necessarily what it is saying. I think that that's not an eagle or hawk. I think that's an owl, another predator, by the way. Because remember, OVO, what's his, that's the OVO, right? And, and that's his line. And that little bird that spells out the OVO, that's an owl, correct? If I think I'm correct. And then if you merge an owl, who he currently is, with a scorpion, what he plans on turning into. Huh. I just flipped the switch. Huh. I mean, there's a couple of different ways that you could look at some of this stuff. You understand what I'm saying? I just flipped the switch. And then he also have, it can be argued 
that that's an owl. And if it is an owl, then what it is is flying into the scorpion and then they're going to like merge and he's going to come out. And on the album, he is basically, you know, an amalgamation of the two. This is all possibilities. But anyway, he has a whole bunch of these these uh, billboards up. I think, you know, not for nothing, they're kind of genius in marketing, especially if you're just driving past and, and you don't really, you know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? Because the billboards is, is there to uh, create dialogue or to have, uh, you know, to make us think. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's what they're there for. And that's what all good marketing is for. So this is great marketing, by the way. And Drake is going to sell, a, Drake is going to sell a trillion albums. Please stop coming into the fucking comment section telling me that I'm saying Drake ain't going to sell. Drake is going to sell. First of all, there's so many butthurt people in the world that they're just going to buy Drake's album because they're like, hey, he's butthurt like I'm butthurt. Why don't we be butthurt together? So there's a whole bunch of those people. So they're going to. They're going to definitely buy his album. That's what's going to happen. So it is what it is. Then you got other people that just like Drake. They're just Drake stands. They just, they got a lady that she had his name for tattooed on her forehead. I, I don't even understand how many drugs. I don't even, under, is there a drug? There might not even be a drug that can get me to do something like that. Like, I would, li like, they would have to be like, we got to wait for this nigga to die because we can't do this. There might be, like, one of those situations because that's not happening over here. Nobody's, nobody's name is being tattooed on my forehead, period. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not even going to make no jokes. Nobody's name. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Let me know what y'all guys think about this. Everything that I said, comments down below. Um, whether you like what I have to say, you agree with me, disagree. Well, y'all going to tell me, everybody that disagrees with me is going to tell me about how they disagree with me. So I'm just going to say, if you agree with me, please also leave comments. Oh, man, you guys are the best. That's all I got on this one. Hug the kids for me. I ain't forgot about you. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.